Welcome back, YouTube. We continue more MSQ playthrough, and we are catching up with Uriange in Fanal. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Heaven's full fend, Runa. Twas he who forestalled the Umorans' procession, and in so doing afforded thee time to traverse the temple. Quickly, the antidote. Runar still, is appear, still appears visibly pained. Perhaps he requires another dose of medicine. Medicine seems to take effect as the color slowly creeps back into his cheeks. It appear the worst hath passed, though his wounds yet want for mending. I shall minister to him forthwith. Rest, Hamask, I prithee. I shall attend to Runar's ministrations. delivered the antidote to Slitherbow, and from what we could gather on the way here, the Ulmorans have had the good manners to withdraw. Thank the gods they did, or we would never have made it here in time. I'm told we have Runar and his comrades to thank for keeping the soldiers occupied prior to their retreat. They were preparing to come for you and Yishtola, it seems, when Runar rallied the villagers and pursued them out of Slitherbow. Well, I assure you. I am glad to see you are all safe. When we realized where the soldiers were headed, we knew something had to be done. I do not see Master Matoya. She was with you, yes? What happened to her? She saved the Knights Blessed, albeit at a cost. Spare me your riddles and speak plain. Where is Master Matoya? For. We must find her. She could be trapped or hurt or. She is alive. She 
she is alive, damn you! Forgive me for interrupting. But our scouts have apprehended an intruder. We thought perhaps he might be an associate of yours. Oh, this guy. Oh, look who it is. Wow, this is embarrassing. In my defense, they are surprisingly tenacious. So, what trouble have you gotten yourselves into this time? Well, what an intriguing turn of events. My condolences, by the way. It is never easy to lose the ones we love. Well, she is dead, isn't she? Wishing it were otherwise will not make it so. That you should be indifferent to her loss is no surprise. To us, she was a friend. something on your mind. What is it? After she fell, there was a powerful gust of wind as if from nowhere. Pray recount to us again that which thou witnessed in the ruins, omitting not the slightest detail. The teleportation magic she used to spirit us away from Uldar after the bloody banquet. I recall a similar gale in the tunnel before it took effect. Interesting. I thought I sensed a brief disturbance in the live stream. How reassuring to know it was not my imagination. I felt it only once, I should mention, which would suggest she is still adrift on its currents. Then I fear she may yet be lost to us. For it was only by the grace of the elementals that she was plucked from that great ethereal river. Ah, very well. I'll go and fetch her. A clear and unambiguous act of kindness will serve to win the trust you seem so determined to deny me. What? Now then, if I'm to fetch her for you, I require a suitable place to work. We must find somewhere that resonates strongly with the live stream. And by we, I mean you. At end, I give you this, an ethereal lamp of my own design. Keep it close as you venture out into the woods. The brighter the glow, the stronger the location's resonance with the live stream. Once you've found a likely spot, all you need do is whistle. You do know how to whistle, don't you, hero? 
just to put your lips together and blow. Everything wants to kill me. I'm trying to do quests. Fuck. Lamp is dim, as if it might go out at any moment. Lamp grows faintly. Okay, so I'm getting closer to where it could be. Closer this way. Glows warmly. Okay, so don't whistle. Call for Emmett Silk. I'm surprised we don't have a forward slash whistle. I give him none. Oh, okay, never mind. Now then, what color was her soul again? done it. He's brought her back. The 
Stola, are you all right? <laughs> yes, though I cannot imagine how. What happened? Thou didst invoke the power of flow, which thence did usher thy soul unto the life stream. Bitch, she knows that. Oh, maybe she doesn't remember. Sorry. I uh, you sorry, Ariane. The antidote, and after that. <laughs> I did something exceedingly reckless, for which you will just have to forgive me. Laugh though. Master Matoya, what in the heavens? You're all right. I had nearly given up hope. Please, Renard, dry your tears. What would the others think if they saw you like this? Did you really think I would go gently into that dark night with so much left undone? So many mysteries left unsolved. <clears throat> Is there aught you wish to say to me? A word of thanks, perhaps? Selk, the Asian of whom I spoke. Twas he who plucked thee from the live stream. I see. Thank you. Differences notwithstanding, you saved my life, and for that I am grateful. But let us turn our attention to more important matters, such as the Katana Rattle. You had better not have explored its depths without me. Heavens, no. In fact, I was awaiting your return. Well, Almut and the others should be pleased to see you in such uncharacteristically high spirits. Let us return to Fanoff, then, and discuss the coming expedition. Just you and me, old boy. What a touching reunion that was. It fair brought a tear to the eye. But as we both know, such tender moments are nothing if not momentary. Before long, they will remember their many differences and return to squabbling. Says the Archbringer of Chaos. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, dear boy. But seriously, we Asians do what we do for the greater good, for the rejoining. Though we may sow the seeds of chaos, it is man who tends them, he who reaps their bountiful harvest. But I grow tired of these arguments. If you would kindly refrain from retorting and return to your customary brooding silence, I will take it as thanks for rescuing your companion and leave it at that. Now, we mustn't keep your friends waiting. Uh, I have a lot of bullshit to run by, too.
My apologies for having put you all through such an ordeal. I could see no other way to save the Knights Blessed. Happily, both they and I yet live, thanks to you. But our week here is not yet done. We must make ready to enter the Katana Ravel and put the Light Ward into the sword. With the Yomorans gone and your companion now returned, I think it best you go go before they can regroup. With magic flowing once more through the Great Pyramid of Yuxna, the entrance to the Katana Ravel should now be open. Before we leave, Orianje, did you discover anything that may suggest the Light Warden hides elsewhere? Hey, then we had but little time before the Umoran's most unwelcome arrival. We scoured the nearby environs and spoke once more with the one called Koril. Having hearkened to her tale, it is my judgment the Sin Eater, which her late mother did espy, was indeed the being we seek, and that it most likely resided in the vicinity of Raktiko Falls. In the absence of any subsequent sighting, I have no reason to believe our quarry hath sought out a new sanctuary, and given the considerable difficulty we face in reaching the falls, we may be certain it hath not been disturbed by man. Our course is clear. We must navigate the Katana Ravel and make for Raktiko Falls. Well, you see, there's but another obstacle to be navigated. The Katana Ravel is the oldest and most sacred of our temples. The accumulated knowledge of the Empire is said to reside within. Knowledge, which is rightly yours as allies of Ronka, you are welcome to explore. I fully intend to survey every ilm of it, once our mission is complete. Were the Emperor still alive, he would be overjoyed to hear you say so. But I must warn you, though the way is open, it will still be heavily guarded. Discourage trespassers and test the worth of our allies. It had to be so. Be careful in there. Head east and you will find the path of Azura Flowers leading to the Ravel. I wish you safe passage through its hills. Mr. Motoya, I know I cannot dissuade you from going, so please, promise me you will return safely. The Knights Blessed need you. You need not worry, Runar. I shall return and bring with me a long-awaited gift, one the Knights Blessed will treasure now and forevermore. Now, let us away. Gone this way. You can feel the aether flowing through the door. A gentle push may be all that's required. Our earlier efforts were not in vain, it seems. Stay on guard, Amask. We know not what awaits us inside. We're going to go in with NPCs, because I would love to do that. So... Um... Yeah, that's all that's all we can take so let's go ahead and go
This is the music for the Katana Ravel? I never knew. See if we can do a big pull. We can do big pulls, but we just, we're not out here actually killing stuff fast enough. Not too bad, I gotta say. Not too bad. Thank you. 
been an Ariane J a hard time healing me. As I should. I again, I'm telling you, too much coffee. I literally just hit living dead, bro. It didn't go off in time. Fine, we'll take it slower. Jeez. Marianne J sucks as a healer. Boo, bad healer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little too late.
It's a cool, this one's a cool looking boss for sure. Protect. 
Everybody does. Come on, Arianja, you got this. Bum 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 Ooh now it makes sense why this is all lit up Arctica Falls All the birds Oh, we got some interest. Oh, that's where the monkeys are. Yeah.
it. We are at the end. Oh yeah. Then we gotta level up.
gonna absorb that light. We're gonna absorb that light right in front of Ishtola so she can see firsthand. Which is the first time that she's gonna witness it. But I feel like this is gonna be the first time it affects us. Perhaps. Would make sense that if it's the first time Ishtola sees it, that it would have an adhere effect, an adhered effect. Blessed's prayers have been answered. Aye, that they have. His condition yet troubleth thee? It does. Though he shows no immediate signs of corruption, the danger remains. He must be told. Would you describe it to me, Marie Angers? Paint for me a picture with your words. A sea of shimmering stars. Diamonds strewn across a raven gown. Boundless and beautiful. It is an exquisite sight, not unlike that of the source. Calm and gentle and forgiving. I can see it. For however deep the void or wide the expanse, there is no shore so distant as to be beyond the reach of light. Ominous though that may sound, given our present travails. She just pat him on the butt? Well fought. Let us return home. Hold up. <laughs> We're just going to smooth past that. I don't know why my shit was paused. It's so why does it ugh, it's so stupid? Ugh. Before the great sundering there was one world, a world that knew naught but peace and prosperity. I didn't even press pause, stupid OBS. Until it was faced with a crisis, unprecedented, terrifying. Civilization found itself perched upon a precipice, staring into oblivion. But through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made His grace was the calamity averted. Zodiac. A savior mighty and magnificent, deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought, yet some thought otherwise. They're just with the two sides of the same coin. Zodiac vanished and his being 
concludes today's lesson on long forgotten history though i imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account as is her wont i'm sorry i can only assume i misheard but it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both zodiac and hydalin are not of the first is that what you thought these paintings depicted or oh oh they are gods after a fashion yes but no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted formed of faith and prayer of conviction and devotion Primals? The eldest and most powerful of primals. You have spun quite a tale. Yet you have not explained the role of the Assians in all of this. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? It was we who summoned Zodiac, we natives of that sundered paradise. Who summons Hydaelyn? Now, do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? For our world, for our people, for all creation to be made whole again. I just have so many questions now, and I need fucking answers. So, Hydaelyn and Zodiac are primals. Oh my... I... Anyways. I, that's gonna do it for this one. Um... Please like the video if you if you enjoyed my playthrough. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos to come. And uh, I am I just want answers. <laughs> I'm upset. All right, we'll see you in the next one.